Hello and welcome. This is Magoobidge. My name is Andy and this is a fairly new YouTube channel. Um, for those of you that have seen my channel before, you would have seen that I did two playthrough series last season and got sacked twice in non-league. I'm useless with tactics. The thing is, I know there are plenty of people out there that also are. You're a bit like me. You struggle. So, I've been on the community forums. I've been around different websites. And I'm going to put together a tactical experiment. Now this experiment will be four of the most popular tactics tested with every single Premier League team. Starting with the top six this week and then moving forward to the rest of the Premier League just to see how effective they actually are. Now there are two types of people that play Football Manager according in, in my view. It's those that have the time to create and develop their own tactics and there are those that don't have the time that would love to have the time to develop their own tactics but need to play the game for an hour or a couple of hours a day or a couple of hours a week. They just want to download a popular one and, and give it a whirl. Hopefully these videos will give you a bit of a guide as to what tactics work with each team to help get me started. Let's get straight into it. Tactic number one is by Nap, who's a popular poster on the, on the forums, the SI community forums. And it's the 4231 Be Wolf. Um, there's plenty of different versions on here. Um, it tests and he tests the thing on FM Touch and things like that. It's the Griffin version that we're going to be using. That is tactic number one. That's a 4 2 3 1 formation. I'll go into it when we get into the game, but that's tactic number one. Tactic number two is by Fuss, Minimal Fuss, Fastidious, or Fastidious, I should say. Um, again, a regular poster. Um, he's a regular poster on this particular forum. Um, and I'm using the stable version, version two. The links, all the links to the tactics will be in the description. Uh, minimal fuss, fastidious, version two, the 41221 formation. Tactic number three is by Rossler, who is another brilliant technician and he's a, he's a regular poster on the forums. His is the steadfast, the flat 4141 formation. Um, very, very popular. Um, and again, he has a lot of success with his tactics. This will be implemented as tactic number three. Tactic number four will be Jamie's 4-2-3-1 attacking Catenaccio with set pieces. Um, this is a very popular tactic on his Twitch channel and this is going to be tactic number four. Hello and welcome to part 20 of the Testing Tactics series. I'm Magoobidge, it's Andy, and today it's the final episode. It is Wolves. Um, I've done videos of all 20 Premier League teams at the moment just to see what happens with the four most popular tactics on the forums that I've done in my intro. As I say, today is Wolves. Now, what happens, just to reconfirm if you've never seen one of these videos before, responsibilities. The staff are responsible for everything. They do the training, they do the contracts, um, they do buying new players, selling players, and they do the pre-match briefings. The only thing that I ask them to do is to try and stick to the tactic and the team that I've selected Speaking of the team I've selected, what I try to do in these series, in this series I should say, is to pick the strongest players, try and get as many of the strongest players into the team as possible for consistency throughout each one of the videos. Now, in some cases the players won't be natural to the positions, but they are the strongest, they can play those positions, and that's why they're picked. So, without further ado, tactic number one is Naps Bewolf. It's the 4 2 3 1 wide, the tick tick attacker tactic. It's early, I'm trying to get my teeth in. Um, it's attacking. So, in possession, it's shorter passing and passing to space. Play out of defence, low crosses. Run at defence, work the ball into the box. You ask your fullbacks to overlap both sides and a slightly lower tempo. In transition, you take short kicks, you distribute to fullbacks, counter and counter press. You defend narrow out of possession with higher defensive line and therefore line of engagement. Extremely urgent. You prevent the short goalkeeper distribution. You get stuck in using tight marking and use of the offside trap. So, Patricio is in goal. Goalkeeper on defend. Your two wing backs are attacking. Johnny and Doherty with Cody and Bowley as the ball playing defenders on defend. Young Martinio is a deep line playmaker on support with Ruben Neves as the box to box midfield on support. Cavalero and Traore are inside forwards on, a, on support. Yota is the attacking midfield on attack. Up front is Jimenez is the advanced forward on attack. Let's see how it plays out. 
So, Wolves finished fifth and qualified for the Europa League, which is a great performance. They were just two points off of Chelsea and fourth in the Champions League places. 20 wins from 38 games, 8 draws and just 10 defeats. Let's have a look at the schedule. Premier League started off by losing away to Huddersfield, but then beat Crystal Palace and Watford. Then Sheffield United, EFL Cup second round. Drove Man City, lost to Man United, thumped Burnley 6-0. Beat Southampton EFL Cup third round and then beat Everton. October, beat Southampton, lost to Tottenham then lost to Liverpool but beat Crystal Palace EFL Cup fourth round away. Beat Cardiff Premier League, lost to Chelsea, drew with Leicester. Into December now they beat Newcastle, lost to Arsenal, beat Fulham, lost to West Ham, lost to EFL Cup quarter final to Chelsea. Beat Huddersfield Premier League, drew with Brighton and then drew with Bournemouth. Into January now. And it's some impressive performance here through January and February and March for that matter. Two defeats and only four draws, the rest a win. So, started off beginning of January by beating Crystal Palace. Beat Sunderland FA Cup third round. Drew with Watford, lost to Man City Premier League. Drew with Leicester FA Cup fourth round. Beat Man United Premier League and then Burnley. Then beat Leicester FA Cup 4th round replay. Beat Everton Premier League. Beat Middlesbrough FA Cup 5th round. Drew with Southampton. Beat Tottenham. March. Lost to Liverpool. But beat Cardiff. Beat Brighton FA Cup 6th round. Then drew with Leicester. So FA Cup semi-final they lost to Everton. Lost to Chelsea Premier League, but then six unbeaten at the end of the season with five wins. They beat Arsenal, drew with Newcastle, beat Fulham, beat West Ham, beat Brighton and Bournemouth. So, let's have a look at player ratings. Now, these are the ratings of the players that played the majority of the season. Johnny, 7.14. Jimenez, 7.14. Bowley, 7.12. Martinho, 7.12. And Ruben Neves, 7.11. Goals. Well, Raul Jimenez, 33 goals from 48 games and 8 assists. Traore, 11 from 44 and 9. Yota, 11 from 33 and 6. With Cavalero, 11 from 46 and 4. Look at this. Deep line playmaker, Yao Moutinho, 47 appearances, 2 goals, 16 assists. But if you look, the attacking 4 all got into double figures. Impressive. That's tactic number one. Wolves finished fifth, got to the EFL Cup final. Was it the EFL Cup or was it the FA Cup? It was EFL Cup final. Lost in the final, but impressive performance. They finished fifth. Tactic number one. Two is Minimal Fuss's fastidious tactic. It's the 4-1-4-1 DM wide. Um, despite looking like it's a little bit defensive, I know you've got the two wide attacking areas, it's positive. And it's the tactic with the least instructions, as you can see. So in possession, you're short of passing, play out of defence, work the ball into the box, lower tempo and waste time. Transition, you roll it out, you distribute to the full backs, counter and counter press. Out of possession, there's a high defensive line, prevent the short goalkeeper distribution and use of the offside trap. So Patricio is a sweeper keeper on defend. Your two wing backs are just wing backs on support, Johnny and Doherty. Your two centre backs are just normal centre backs on defend, Bowley and Cody. Ruben Nevers drops to a defensive midfielder on defend with Martinho box to box midfielder on support. Sice is the Mazala on attack with Yota and Traore as the inside forwards on support. Jimenez is deep line forward on attack this time. Let's see how this plays out. Wolves finish sixth and qualify for the Europa League again. Um, this time they were 14 points off of the Champions League places, which is not too bad. 16 wins, 38 games, 10 draws, and 12 defeats. So look at the schedule. So, Premier League started off by losing to Huddersfield, beat Crystal Palace, lost to Watford, but then beat Rotherham EFL Cup second round. Drew with Man City, lost to Man United and Burnley, beat Everton EFL Cup third round, then drew with Everton Premier League. So, into October, they drew with Southampton, beat Tottenham and Liverpool, then lost on penalties to Derby EFL Cup fourth round. So up until the end of October, they've had one, two, only three Premier League wins. 
So they must have really picked up their form with a massive unbeaten run at some point. Let's have a look. So, November, Premier League. They lost to Cardiff, drew with Chelsea and drew with Leicester. December, drew with Newcastle, lost to Arsenal, drew with Fulham, beat West Ham and Huddersfield, drew with Brighton and then drew with Bournemouth. So here we go. Turn of the year, January. They beat Crystal Palace in the Premier League. Beat QPR FA Cup third round. Drew with Watford. Lost to Man City. Beat Cardiff FA Cup fourth round. Lost to Man United. So you can see now this is where the form begins to turn. So February, they lost in the Premier League to Burnley and then lost to Everton. Drew with Birmingham away FA Cup fifth round. Beat Southampton Premier League. Won the FA Cup fifth round replay, beating Birmingham 2-1. Then into March, an unbeaten month. Beat Liverpool, beat Cardiff, beat Tottenham, beat Chelsea, FA Cup sixth round on penalties. Then beat Leicester. Into April. Drew Chelsea, lost the FA Cup semi-final to West Ham. Beat Newcastle, lost to Arsenal. But then four unbeaten, four wins on the spin. Beat Fulham, beat West Ham, beat Bournemouth and beat Brighton. So you can see, beginning of the season, very inconsistent. Um, picked up in the second half of the season and they've got themselves into Europa League. Let's have a look at players. Average ratings. Bowley, 7.20. Matinho, 7.14. Jimenez, 7.08. With Cody, 7.08. And Torori, 7.05. Goals. Jimenez 23 from 47, 4 assists. Traore 11 from 42 and 6. Uh, Romain Sice uh, 8 from 42 and 5. Yota 8 from 47 and 7. Gian Martino further down, 43, 4 goals, 11 assists. So not as good as the other one, but they still finish 6 from qualified for the Europa League. That's tactic 2. Tip number 3 is the roster steadfast 4 1 4 1 version 2. It's the DM formation, it's attacking though. So in possession, it's shorter passing and passing to space, play out of defence, low crosses, run at defence, work the ball in the box, but focus play for the middle of the pitch. In transition, take short kicks and counter, counter press. Out of possession, it's defend narrower, high defensive line and line of engagement. It's extremely urgent, you prevent the short goalkeeper distribution. Use of the offside trap. So, as we said, 4-1-4-1 DM, so Patricio sweeper keeper on defend. Your wing-backs are complete wing-backs this time on attack. Johnny and Doherty. Your two centre-backs are central defenders on defend. Connor Cody and Bowley. Ruben Neves is a half-back on defend this time. Yota and Torre are wide midfielders on attack. Saiz and Martino are both box-to-box -box midfielders on support. And Jimenez is a false nine on support up front. Let's see how this plays out. So, Wolves qualified for the Champions League by finishing 4th, which is an outstanding performance. 23 wins from 38 games, 7 draws and just 8 defeats, plus 50 goal difference. They finished 11 points behind Man City, who won the league, but only 5 behind Chelsea in 3rd. Outstanding. Let's have a look at the schedule. Should be some good unbeaten runs here. Let's have a look. So they started off the Premier League by losing to Huddersfield, believe it or not. Then they beat Crystal Palace and Watford. Then beat Gillingham, EFL Cup second round. Drew with Man City, lost at Man United, thumped Burnley, then lost the EFL Cup third round to Chelsea. Beat Everton Premier League. October. Thumped Southampton, lost to Tottenham and drew with Liverpool. Into November. Beat Cardiff, lost to Chelsea, thumped Leicester 6-1. December, one defeat and six wins. Beat Newcastle, lost heavily to Arsenal, but then thumped Fulham. Beat West Ham, beat Huddersfield, beat Brighton and then beat Bournemouth. Beat Crystal Palace in January Premier League and then beat Burnley FA Cup third round. It's a good run here. Beat Watford, lost to Man City, beat Millwall FA Cup fourth round and then beat Man United in the Premier League. So if you look at this period here, so we have a look from so Everton, so you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So up to Burnley in February, 20 games. There was only 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 defeats. There was only 1 draw and the rest 15 victories. It's outstanding. 
So into February now. They lost to Burnley. Drew with Everton. Thumped Middlesbrough. FA Cup 5th round. 5-0. Drew with Southampton. Beat Tottenham. Lost heavily to Liverpool in the Premier League. Drew with Cardiff. Then lost the FA Cup 6th round to Chelsea. Then an unbeaten finish of 8 games. Including 6 wins. Beat Leicester Premier League at the end of March. Beat Chelsea. Drew with Newcastle and Arsenal. Beat Fulham. Beat West Ham. Beat Bournemouth and beat Brighton. Outstanding performances. Let's have a look at player ratings. So, Torore. 7.82 Torore. From that right wide midfielder position. Outstanding. Matinho, 7.49. Doherty, 7.42. Johnny, 7.39. And Connor Cody, 7.31. Let's have a look at goals. My word, look at this. Raul Jimenez, 25 from 44 and 3 assists. Adama Traore, 18 goals from 41 games. 22 assists in the season. That is outstanding. Uh, Matinho, 14 goals he scored from 39. 5 assists as a box-to-box midfielder. But look at this. Jota, 9 from 33, 14 assists. Doherty scored 8 with 10 assists from 43. And Sice, 12 assists, 7 goals, 42 appearances. That is really outstanding, that tactic. That's tactic number 3. Wolves finished in the Champions League with some outstanding figures. Tactic 3. So to the final tactic, and this is the FM Scout Catanaccio tactic. It's the 4-2-3-1 wide. It's attacking, as you can see, and it looks identical to the first tactic, but there's a difference. The first tactic, you're asked to, for your full-backs to press, on, press forward and overlap. In this particular tactic, you're asked just to focus the play down each side. Doesn't necessarily mean your full-backs are going to bomb on and, and overlap. Just means that you're focusing the play down each side. So, with that, in possession, it's shorter passing than passing to space, play out of defence, low crosses, work the ball into the box... As I said, focus play down both sides with a slightly lower tempo. In transition, you distribute to full backs, you counter, counter press, you defend narrower, much higher defensive line and line of engagement. It's extremely urgent. Prevent the short goalkeeper distribution. You get stuck in, using tighter marking and use of the offside trap. So in goal, Patricio is a goalkeeper on defend. Your wing backs are wing backs on attack this time, Johnny and Doherty. Ball playing defenders are your centre backs on defend, Connor Cody and Bowley. Matinho, deep line playmaker on support. Neves, box to box midfielder on support. Cavalero and Troy are the inside forwards on support with Yota, your attacking midfielder on attack. Raul Jimenez is your advanced forward on attack up front. Let's see how it plays out. Wolves finished seventh and qualified for the Europa League, so that's the qualification for Europe in all four seasons, with Tactic 3 being Champions League. They finished 7th, they finished 9 points off of the Champions League, but still a good performance. 18 wins from 38, 7 draws, 13 defeats. Let's have a look at the schedule. So, Premier League didn't start off well at all, and I'm surprised I wasn't sacked. Lost to Huddersfield, lost to Crystal Palace, lost to Watford, lost to Brighton EFL Cup second round. Lost to Man City, Man United and Burnley. So one, two, three, six defeats in a row. No points at the start of the Premier League season. But then it picks up again. At the end of September, they beat Everton 4-0. So obviously this is when the tactic kicked in and the players become used to it. October, beat Southampton, lost to Tottenham and drew with Liverpool. Then an unbeaten three games, which was good. They drew with Cardiff, beat Chelsea and beat Leicester. December, lost to Newcastle and Arsenal, beat Fulham, beat West Ham, drew with Huddersfield, beat Brighton and then Bournemouth. Into January now, you can see further down there's going to be an unbeaten run. Beat, sorry, lost to Crystal Palace, beat Norwich FA Cup third round, lost to Watford, lost to Man City, then got knocked out of the FA Cup by Arsenal in the fourth round. Then there's an extensive run between the 29th of January to the end of the season. One defeat, four draws and plenty of wins as you can see. Starting with 29th of January, they beat Man United, thumped Man United 4-0. Beat Burnley, lost to Everton but then beat Southampton. 
In March, unbeaten. They beat Liverpool, Cardiff and thumped Leicester. Unbeaten again in April. Drew with Chelsea, beat Newcastle, drew with Arsenal and Fulham and Tottenham. Beat West Ham, Bournemouth and Brighton to seal their Europa League qualifications. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15 games. There was one, de- one defeat, four draws, 10 wins on the spin. That got them into the Europa League. Let's just have a look again. Yet three points above Huddersfield who finished eighth. But they qualified for Europe which is good. Player ratings. Bowley 7.22. Cody 7.07. Uh, Martinho 7.03. Johnny 7.02. And Ruben Neves the same. Goals. Lacking. Compared to the others. Jimenez 14 from 41 and 4 assists. Neves 38, 8 and 5. Traore 34, 7 and 2. And Yota 29, 7 and 5. With Cavalero 39, 6 and 6. Matinho 43 and 10. So not as impressive as the others, especially tactic number 3. But this has been Wolves. Those are all your four tactics. So that's it, that's the end of this particular tactical test. As you can see, the four tactics with varying levels of success. What do you think of the video? What do you think of those particular tactics? All the links to the tactics are in the description below. If you like the video, please hit the like button for me. It helps me build this channel. And please subscribe for more videos. There'll be a video of every single Premier League team with the same four tactics and see how they do. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, hit the bell for notifications for when these next videos come out. Thank you very much. Show your support and I'd love to know all your comments. Let me know what you think of the tactics. Let me know what you think if you download them and play them. And just, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.